Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Nice to see you again. Hope you're doing well. Today we're going to do a bit of an update video, a bit of an update on this tank here. This is my Nano Aquascape tank. Um, I'll leave a link in the description to the video of me setting this up and I'll put a card up here somewhere. But essentially this is my attempt at aquascaping on a budget, having a nice cheap tank and setting it up to look good. Mm, look good being the subjective part of this. It needs a little bit of attention, it needs a little bit of trimming, water changing, that sort of thing. So we'll do some maintenance, talk you through all the features of the tank. Um, but generally, the, the main thing is this is a cheap tank. I think the tank itself was something like £25 at the time. It's gone up a little bit. Uh, All Pond Solution now sell this tank for £40. It's a 25 litre tank, 30 centimetre cube. Um, it's just a plain tank with really nice clear low iron glass. Um, it's just a fantastic little tank to do lots of experimenting and building little aquascapes with. Uh, suits all manner of small nano fish. At the moment I've got a betta fish in there, possibly the longest living betta fish ever. A few snails, lots of plants and some decorations. So let's get it cleaned up a little bit and we'll talk you through some of the challenges we've had so far. So, first task is obviously water change, so I've started that off, clearing some of the detritus and mulm and stuff from around the sand bed. The tank itself is a dirtied tank, so it's got a mound of compost in the middle, capped off with sand, and then it's just sand around the sides as well to make it look nice so you don't see the dirt coming through. The plants themselves are okay, they're not brilliant. Um, if we get in a little bit closer, some of them, you can see there's some holes in some of the leaves. Um, there's some java fern here which has melted away, I think I put it too close to the light. There's one of these plants here looking a bit straggly, so I'm going to cut things back basically to cut away any dead leaves, so there's a leaf there that's obviously not doing well. But generally, the plants aren't too bad. I haven't been regularly fertilising this tank at all, so shame on me, it's mostly my fault. It was a little bit too heavily planted. I think the beta that's in there was struggling to find spaces to swim around safely, so maybe we just need to leave it a little bit more sparse. In terms of decoration, we've just obviously got these little, these nice little bits of spiderwood that poke out the top, um, and some rocks and stuff. So I don't think it's too bad. Just need to clean it up a little bit and maybe start fertilising it more regularly. I've um, got this filter on here, which is obviously one of the All Pond Solutions filters. Looking quite good, just needs a good washout. It's got uh, UV in it. There are, there isn't any algae, so I guess it could be doing its job. Happy with the setup. Let's get on with cleaning it out. There are things that I really like about really small tanks like this. For instance, it literally takes 10 minutes to do a complete tank overhaul. Um, it's fairly inexpensive to get started. A tank like this, pretty cheap, so I think when I bought this it was £25, a little bit more expensive now, but I'm sure there'll be a sale at some point. A lot of people I've been talking to recently have been put off fish tanks because they're worried about floods and things like that, so I don't think that's necessarily a major worry. But if this one does flood, it's not the end of the world. If it gets a crack in it, for instance, but there are also downsides to tanks like this. They're actually harder to maintain in terms of water quality because the volume, the overall volume of the water is so small that a small swing in percentages one way or the other can have quite a drastic effect. Um, whereas you can hide that a lot better in larger aquariums. For instance, evaporation on a tank like this, it will lose water at the same rate as a big tank, but you don't notice it on a big tank quite as much as you do on a tank like this. But for ease of um, setup and maintenance, I think overall a small tank like this is pretty good. It doesn't take a huge, massive chunk out of any of your budget. Fairly easy to maintain and look after. Quick product placement for the Aquarium Adventures towel. Check out the website if you want one of these. Um, but yeah, I don't think you can go wrong with this for something like an office or a bedroom or just a little a little space where you want a little bit of nature to bring it inside without spending the earth and breaking the bank. Perfect. So let's get this cleaned up and filled up. Talked about these all pond solutions hang on back filters before. Um, 
but one of the features I really like about them, so this one is the UV one, so inside this little compartment here there is a UV filter um, and your filtration media comes out, he says, in one easy to move compartment. So the box comes out like this, so you have sponge down at the bottom and then two compartments for filter media. And then the bit at the top, there's a sponge here again, this is where the UV compartment outputs into. Runs through all this and then back to the tank. But all you need to do is give this a quick rinse in some old tap water and that's you cleaned your filter. Can't go wrong with that. In terms of stocking options for a tank like this, there are quite a few. I mean, there are the obvious ones like the betta fish I've got in here, for example. Um, cherry shrimp, things like that, but there's plenty of nano species. They might be a little bit harder to come by these days when you take the global pandemic into consideration, but there are plenty of options online as well. Um, I've got this betta fish in here, I've had him for years, I think he might even be a record breaker, the oldest living betta fish. Um, so I'm quite happy to let him live his days out in here. But yeah, all kinds of options really. And that really is the beauty of a little tank like that. That's half an hour, less than half an hour gone, and I've done water change, filter wash, trimmed all the plants, given it a clean, completely done and dusted, and we're ready to move on to the next thing. So you don't need to spend a load of time maintaining it. Obviously there are some things I need to do with this particular tank. Um, so I need to look into fertilizers and doing a little bit more water testing, because mostly I've just been making sure that it's going to keep the fish alive rather than let the plants thrive. But other than that, I think I'm good to go. So it's really just a short video to show you one of the many things I have to do to keep up with all my tanks. Obviously I'm doing maintenance on all my tanks at various stages throughout the week for each and every tank. So let me know if you want to see more of this sort of stuff. Give me a like, give me a subscribe if this is your first time here. Let me know in the comments if you want to know more about any of these things or what you might want to see a video about next. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Um, as always, click that subscribe button if this is your first time here and you like this kind of thing. Uh, give me a like, give me a dislike if you don't. Uh, and let me know what you think down below in the comments. Thank you very much and we'll see you next time. Bye!